So hello and welcome to today's lesson in our study of mathematical biology. So this happens to be the 10th lesson. And in this lesson, we'll talk about the SIRS model without demographic effect, but with force of infection. So note that um, we have so far discussed the SIR model in the SEIR model. So this happens to be the third lesson we are discussing. Okay. So by now you are very familiar with the SIR model. You know the SIR model, the entire population was divided into three parts. So those who were susceptible, infected, and those who had recovered right and one assumption was that there was permanent immunity that means if you come to this class the recovered class you stay there forever you can never become susceptible again right so the sirs model assumes that there is temporal immunity that means after recovering after some time you can become susceptible again right and that's how most diseases are right infectious disease let's take COVID 19 for instance if you get COVID 19 and you recover after some time if you are exposed and you don't take precautions you can get it again so that means you become susceptible and you can become infected again okay so this model assumed that there is temporary immunity therefore recovered after some time, move back to the susceptible class. So note that without demographic effects or vital dynamics means that there is no birth or death rate. So we are not including birth or death rates in our model, okay? So let's take a look at the compartmental model for the We are looking at our compartmental model for the SIR model, SIRIS model without vital dynamics. Okay, All right. So our population is divided into three classes: those who are susceptible, those who are infected, and those who have recovered. All right. And we have some parameters: so beta, gamma, and what we can see here, okay, is do who have recovered and after some time they become susceptible again so they move back to this class okay so beta stands for the transmission rate gamma stands for the recovery rate and sigma is a rate of immunity loss by the recovered individual okay so deriving our system of ordinary differential equations we are going to have you know S has two arrows. There's the first one. There's the second one. The first one moves away from it. So that means we get negative there. And the second one moves into it. That means we get positive there. So our first equation will be the SDT will be equal to negative beta SI over N. We are doing over N because we are including force of infection plus sigma, sigma arrow. All right? Then the second one will be the ID2 will be equal to beta SI over N minus gamma I. That's also because of what we can see here. Then the RDT is equal to gamma I minus sigma what R. So this happens to be the three equ differential equations we can obtain for our model. So now let's talk about assumptions of the um, SIRS model without demographic effects. So the first assumption is that the population is constant. Okay. Then the second assumption is the rate at which the recovered individual lose their immunity. Sigma is proportional to the number of recovered present at that time. That's why we have sigma what R. 
then the third one says there is no waiting period that's on the grounds that the waiting period is short as compared to the period of endemicity okay so these are some of the assumptions of the SIRS model without vital dynamics all right so note that we had these three equations right so after having these three equations we would want to scale them and we do scaling to um get rid of our ends okay so our population was divided into three parts susceptible infected recovered right that's because our total population when we divide through by end we get SRT over N plus IRT over N plus RT over N. Then we get N over N, which will give us one here. So we represent the whole of this. That's S of T over N by small s of T. Represent I of T over N by this. Represent this by this. So we get this is equal to one. All right. So where small s of T is equal to big S of T over N is equal to this and is equal to that so when you decide to find big s of t you're going to get this so big s of t will be equal to this big i of t will be equal to this i hope you understand so to get this is just this time this okay then small r of t times n is equal to big r of t times n so after getting these then we find so we name all this equation equation for then we find derivatives at both sides okay so we find derivatives at both sides of equation four so for instance if we take the first one we have small s n you let's forget the s of t we have small s times n is equal to capital s right so if we find the first derivative on both sides with respect to t we will get capital the capital s dt will be equal to n the small s dt so that one will give us this equation so when you find the derivatives on both sides we are going to get this equation that you are calling equation 5 I hope you can see that so equation 5 okay all right so putting equation 4 and equation 5 into equation 1 2 and 3 notice how equation 1 2 and 3 right so when you make that substitution that means wherever you find the s we put n the small s the t wherever we find s we put s n where we find i we put i n where we find r we put what r n so in the first equation we have n the s the t will be equal to negative beta s n i n over n plus sigma r n so this n cancels this n then we now get this equation so we can decide to factorize n out okay so when we do that we will have this then dividing through by n gives us this so you see now we've been able to scale it to take away our n so we call this equation a then we come to the second equation so that one to we do the substitution then this n cancels this n then we will have this equation here so n is a common factor at the right hand side so we can factorize that out then we have this here to n cancels n and we have this which we call equation b then for the last one we have this is equal to everything we have here so here our right hand side n is a common factor so we factorize that out to get this then we divide through by n to get this equation c so that means after doing our scaling 
okay we are going to interpret these new equations so we will get the s the t we call to minus beta s i plus sigma r the i the t equals beta s i minus gamma i and we have the r the t equals gamma i minus sigma r just getting this we can justify the assumption that the population is constant so we do this by adding equations 1 equation 20 equation 3 right so we get the s dt plus the i dt plus the r dt will be equal to whatever we have here okay then when we this will cancel this this will cancel this and this cancels this okay so we get everything is equal to zero then when we integrate both so we get d s i plus s plus i plus r equals zero dt when we integrate both sides we get srt plus iot plus rot is equal to what constant right so that means our population is what constant okay so here's hence show that the population is constant so yeah this is the s i r s model without right side dynamics but with force of infection so in our next lesson that's lesson 11 we'll talk about qualitative solution of the s i r s model without demographic effects so thank you very much and see you in the next video